Hey guys, so I'm currently out in the States, as you know from my previous video, we visited the uh, New Orleans World War II Museum. Something a little bit different today is I am currently in Walt Disney World and um, I thought I might check out everything Star Wars related. So obviously I'll do a little bit of a, a tour of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge in the next video, but to give you a little taster of that, we're going to look at everything Star Wars in Walt Disney World Studios. Hollywood Studios um, that isn't related to Galaxy's Edge and I'm bringing you guys along with me with the, for the ride so let's let's check it out all right so when I get to this section from entering the park the, uh, the entrance is there I like to come down Hollywood Boulevard here and uh, head on into Keystone Clothiers which is this, uh, this building here the blue one so we're going to head on in there and uh, check out some of the Star Wars stuff in there first. Here we go. First things first, everyone knows that I'm a massive Indiana Jones fan. And um, they've got a few little bits of indie merch here. They've got some replica indie jackets that aren't very good, but you know, it is what it is. Got some figures here. There's some replica hats that uh, actually don't look too bad. Not, yeah, they're alright. Yeah, we've got some Indiana Jones toys down here as well, as well as some replica whip, a torch, and some Funko Pops, which is always nice. Okay, turning around for the Star Wars stuff. Because we've got some nice Ahsoka stuff here. It's a nice little Ahsoka doll. Here's a new uh, Ahsoka Tano line that came out. <clears throat> on January 27th for Ahsoka Tano Day. It's all designed by Ashley Eckstein, who plays Ahsoka herself. There it is. Now, what's interesting to note here is all of the um, Star Cruiser merch has now been relocated to Keystone Clothiers. So here's all the children, the child's uh, Star Cruiser merch. It's all here, which is really interesting. Uh, you'll see a bit more of it in the next video when we get to Galaxy's Edge. This is a really nice top in here. And I bought this myself. It's really nice. It's got the opening crawl on it as well. Really quite cool. There's uh, some R2-G2. Yeah, but, um, Mickey ears and it's a shield. Anyway, I bought this. This is what I'm wearing today. Um, my missus has this one that says, I love you, and then... The man gets the I know, and it's just nice that it's got the Corellian blood stripe along the sleeve. I really like that as well. <laughs> nice little Naboo map here and Naboo top. Really like it. This is just a massive entire Grogu section here. It's everything Grogu. Everything is Grogu. Look at that. That's a cute little bag. <laughs> I like that. That's new since when I got here. Yeah. It must sell. They must sell. Grogu must sell. That's nice. I like that. Um, yeah, some of the kids' stuff, you look at it and you go, oh, damn, I wish that fit me. <laughs> That's a nice little Darth Vader mug. I am your father. Might, could get that for the dads of the company here. It's a nice little shirt here. I really do quite like this, this shirt. It's discounted at the moment here. Got some figures and some clone trooper helmets and this background joy from Return of the Jedi. This is a nice little art book of how they made the, uh, how they made Galaxy's Edge. It's interesting that, that originally it had Imperial TIE Fighters and Shuttles instead of First Order. Don't know if that was just a placeholder if they originally were going to go for it to be Sort of original trilogy and then over here is sort of the return of the july 40th anniversary merch so you get a few few little bits here um all right i'm gonna head to the next location all righty the next stop on our little tour is star wars launch bay which has character meets inside it and a few little bits of bobs a few little bits of bobs of props and artwork and etc um, let's head on inside and check it out. So there's some artwork there and then if you turn to your left as you come in, there's loads of artwork down here. It's Rebels and 
Ralph and Corey's work for the Empire Strikes Back and Doug Chang's. I mean, just look at the original design for Qui Gon there. Kind of looks a bit like uh, Quinn and Voss, doesn't he? Um, yeah, oh, it's lovely down here. I love it, but they could do a lot more with the space, I, I feel. I mean, that's a great piece of artwork for uh, Rebels there, the Grand Inquisitor and Agent Callus. I love it. I love it. <coughs> Posters down here, and it, and it goes on and on and on. Down here, another two rows of artwork. So it goes up to The Force Awakens. So I don't think this place has been updated since, since The Force Awakens came out, really, to be honest with you. Um, we're going to head on inside now. Alright, and we're inside. A few little bits of note. Uh, first off is if you turn to your right as you come in there's a few little bits and bobs props and stuff etc so you've got a, a camtono there you've got a gaffy stick there it's made famous by Boba Fett in Book of Boba now uh, you've got some quad knocks there a bit of droid piece a Jawa gun a thermal detonator 3PO's arm or a protocol droid's arm um, oh, there's an IG head there, if it's going to focus. It's not going to focus. It's not going to focus. But there's an IG head there. And here's a nice little haversack, which sort of looks a bit like the one Indy uses in uh, Kingdom of Crystal Skull. And then here is the uh, really nice little detail here, is the prototype Boba Fett jetpack, which is here as well. So if we turn around here, it's got a little bit of a little setup here, and then uh, little photo opportunities here. It's very dark in here, mm. so you can have your photo taken. Some some blue milk in the corner. Here is a generic board which you can press and uh, turn and twizzle. It's good fun. It's good fun. Set down here, so you can meet characters in here. bb 8s down there. I love this little piece of artwork that was commissioned for a Star Wars Celebration 2019. So it goes from one to nine. It includes the uh, the uh, anthology films as well as the uh, the animated shows as well. So here you've got uh, the prop for Ray's speeder and Ray's Episode Seven costume in there. You can meet Chewbacca through there, as well as uh, Darth Vader in there, which is the um, speeder bike with uh, the concept art here. I love it, love, 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 love it. And then you've got the model, as well as the, uh, the life-size prop. Really nice, absolutely love it. I've never known a building to have an opening crawl. The opening crawl of the Star Wars launch bay. And in the far corner, the Krennic shuttle, TIE fighter, the Death Star model for Rogue One, and the Star Destroyer used for Rogue One, the AT order from Solo, oh TIE pilot, the MC 68 from Solo, A Wing, Tanti 4. With five, a B wing, and a U wing, and then turning behind us, we've got the uh, slave on. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So we're gonna head on out now and head to our next non-Galaxy's Edge Star Wars location here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. So we're now at the Star Wars area. There's a full-size attack here, as well as. Uh, a really cool little setup of uh, an Ewok village. I love it. I love it. And there's Startles. That's the ride. Uh, am I, am I going to go on the ride? I don't know if I'm going to go on the ride. Yeah, I'm going on the ride. Look, it's awesome to see. <laughs> you go underneath the Atat. Atat. At the Atat. At uh, to get into the queue line of the ride. And look at that. That's beautiful. A little facade of an Ewok village there. I love it. I love the queue line for Star Tours, it's so good. You get there, the ship that you're about to board there with R2 in there. So we're about to go on the ride, I went on it. Always love that ride, it's one of my favourites and I just love the little destination posters they have up as you exit. So as you exit, you're going to go into a shop called Tatooine Traders. 
And here's the shop itself. And we're going to head on down. Yeah, they've got a wall of action figures. It's sort of more kiddie, this one. More kiddie than anything in Galaxy's Edge, I would say. Although they do have sort of uh, some Black Series replica sabers to enjoy. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, what's interesting of a note to show you? These little Grogu's, they sit on your shoulder. They're quite cute. They have some uh, signed artwork behind the counter there. That one of Thrawn is really nice. Over here we've got some uh, adult merch, the merch that matters. This is a nice top. I'm thinking about getting this. They have it in my size? Yeah, they do. Yeah. And then you held an out head on. Oh, that's an ITO joy. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, and then they, you head on out, and if you turn around, it gives you the facade of a uh, little Tatooine. Tatooine hovel from Mos Eisley or something. Uh, yeah, beautiful. Absolutely love it. So that was it for this video. So that was it for this video. Uh, I'm going to head on into Galaxy's Edge now. I'm going to check out some things in Galaxy's Edge. I'll give you a, pretty much a tour of the entire park. I'll include a few secrets, a little hidden Easter eggs as well. Um, so stay tuned for the next video in which we're going to do that. So thanks for watching this one and I'll see you in the next one.